Trump should be forced to prove that he wasn't participating in an insurrection on January 6th, telling his face that the election was stolen and that they should fight like hell to prevent that from happening uh, in order to get himself back on to the ballot. Because so far, he's been proven to have participated in an insurrection in Colorado court. Can he prove that he wasn't with all the evidence mounting against him? Breaking into us in just the last couple of minutes involving former President Trump now going to the Supreme Court. He is asking the justices to try to overturn the Colorado ruling that took him off the primary ballot in that state. I want to get right to NBC's Dasha Burns, who has posted up for us live. Though if the Supreme Court does overturn it, uh, it, it just shows that, I mean, there's no rule in our government when somebody who did participate in an insurrection can be on a ballot to become president. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if the Supreme Court did overturn the Colorado ruling, being that many of them are bribed by rich right ringers from Iowa, of course, with those caucuses less than two weeks away. Talk to us about what we're just learning, this appeal to the Supreme Court. It is not unexpected. Yeah. The timing was a question mark, but here now in the five o'clock hour Eastern time, we have it. Talk us through it. Well, so let's remind folks about that Colorado Supreme Court ruling, which was based on language in the Constitution and the 14th Amendment that prevents those who engage in an insurrection from running for various federal offices. And in that... Yeah, and it was a bipartisan group that put a lawsuit against Trump claiming that he wasn't eligible for being on the ballot. And they proved to the Colorado court that he wasn't eligible to run on the ballot. The Denver judge said the Section 3 was vague when it's not, because it says president or vice president. And then the Sup Supreme Court overruled her and was like, yeah, he's not eligible for the ballot. This is all according to the Constitution. Anybody trying to overturn this is against the Constitution appeal to the Supreme Court. Trump's lawyers uh, said that if the court uh, were to allow it to stand, it would mark the first time in history of the United States that the judiciary has prevented voters from casting ballots for the leading major, major party presidential candidate. The court, the lawyer said, should return the right to vote for their candidate of choice to the voters. Now, uh, this is a, a, a major and unprecedented situation here, Hallie. Mm -hmm. We also have a similar situation playing out in Maine, of course, and we've had rivals of the former president uh, denounce uh, both of these decisions, both in Colorado and in Maine. In fact, even some Democrats have been critical uh, of this. And what we've seen on the ground in uh, states like Iowa, uh, like New Hampshire, like South Carolina, is like with the indictments, there has been kind of a surge uh, of support. At one of Vivek Ramaswamy event recently, a woman stood up and said, you know what, I want to vote for you, uh, but how can we not? stand up and and support the guy that they're trying to tear down she said so this is some yeah it, it's wild how right-wingers claim to be all about the party of law and order yet they're going to support a dude that to take over the government and wants to become a dictator though i mean honestly it's no real surprise uh trump's base wants him to be either a king or a dictator because that's what they want Something that we've seen politically as Trump's legal troubles have escalated, his political support has escalated.